What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of All Mouth Bassing. Uh, it's about 11 p.m. right, or excuse me, 11 a.m. right now. And uh, I'm out at the Pueblo Reservoir. There's still a bunch of ba bass on beds right now. And there's a little tournament going on right now, a uh, boat tournament. So there's a lot of tournament fishermen out here. There's a lot of pressure today, but I actually just got on a smallie real quick, like five minutes into being here. So pretty good sign for the bite. I also saw somebody hook up with a spotted bass and land it. So good sign for the bite. Uh, I'm seeing bass everywhere. So that's definitely nice. And uh, yeah, actually it's a little windy. I wasn't expecting conditions to be great for catching fish right now. But like I said, I got on a nice one, like five minutes in, you guys will see that. Either you already saw it or you'll see it after the intro. And uh, then I'm gonna get to the point of the video, which is this bass kit right here. So um, I've fished a couple of these little kits in the past, but never the Eagle Claw brand. And this one is pretty stacked. So first of all, I like Eagle Claw terminal tackles to begin with. I actually fished some of their stuff already. And I'm going to go ahead and assume that all the terminal tackle in here is going to be Eagle Claw, Eagle Claw brand. So I'll trust all of it, which is nice because that's one problem with a lot of these tackle kits is they'll use super cheap terminals. And um, the soft plastic baits in here and actually the little crankbait look really decent. So um, I like what I'm seeing. There's a nice little line cutter. It's actually a pretty well equipped little kit for 10 bucks. I got it at Walmart. And um, yeah, I mean, it's got a bunch of kinds of worms. It's got a bunch of curly tail grubs in different sizes and colors. It's got all sorts of, it's got pre-rigged drop shots, all sorts of weights, uh, bobber um, sinker stoppers. It's got a little uh, lipless crankbait. It's definitely not a bad little kit for $10. And anyway, I'm gonna throw it around and try to get on some bass today. So let's see how that goes. I'm just gonna throw this shed swim around a little bit for fun real quick. I like this bait. I wanna see if anything bites it. Okay, just got one. Good to know they're biting something at least. I think I just messed one. Oh yeah, just got on this bed bass. Decent smallie. Probably two pounder. Pound and a half at least. I was planning on working this smallie quick, didn't realize this guys, these guys are gonna go through on this boat, so I wanted to catch real quick before they ruin that. Decent fish. Hell yeah. All right, I'm going to get this bass back in the water and move on to the next spot. Pretty fish. Good color on it. Real big tail. Nice and healthy. All right, let's go. All right, guys, first thing I'm throwing out of this kit is this dark green with silver flake grub. I don't know if it's trying to be green pumpkin or what. If it is, it's super dark. It's way darker than your typical green pumpkin. But... I'm gonna toss this around, see if I can get a bite with it. I've got it on what I believe is a 16th ounce jig head. So, super tiny rig. But, I've had luck on bed bass with small stuff like this in the past.
that one charged my bait, but then swerved off last second. That's not ideal. All right, we're gonna take a little walk. A few casts off this point. Oh, sh I forgot how much shallower it got. It's mega shallow now. It's crazy. There's an underwater ledge here that, okay, I think I see. I think I see an angle I could get to, get at. Yeah, I don't think the first thing I thought was a fish was a fish, but I definitely saw one come through after that. That was for sure a fish. That's a fish, let's go. It's not a big one or anything, but that's a fish. All right, guys, first one. Oh no, sorry, bud. All right, guys, check that out. I was just about to give up on this ugly little grub. That is so awesome. <laughs> Got it done on this ugly little dark, dark green grub with silver flakes, 16th ounce jig. Not a huge bass or anything, obviously, but decent little, maybe one pounder. Let's freaking go, guys. Oh, well, I was just about to release that fish, but then I dropped it. I think you guys got the release on camera anyway. I think I got the camera angled right just on time. <laughs> but anyway, there goes that smallie. Poor thing got dropped twice, fell off my hook, and then just slipped out of my hand when I was going to release it. I think it's going to be fine. It swam off just fine. And I mean, they're resilient best. But uh, yeah, sick. Got one on the old Walmart, or the old... Uh, Eagle Claw set up. All right, guys. I made it happen on the uh, the soft bait, so now I'm gonna try throwing this hard bait. It's the only hard bait in the kit, um, but I figured might as well switch from soft to hard and see if I could get one on the old lipless crank. It's uh, it looks like it's kind of trying to be like a baby bass color, and the hooks are sharp as hell. I'm pretty sure they're actually Eagle Claw hooks on this bait. I don't know. I obviously couldn't tell you what brand or where this lipless came from, but the hooks are nice and sharp and it feels pretty solid. It's not like super light and cheap feeling or anything. And it's got a pretty nice movement to it. I don't hate it. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. Ooh, I gotta be careful not to bang this bait off too many rocks though. <laughs> I know I said it feels pretty sturdy, but it's still a random brandless bait. Big old fish looked at my bait too. Oh. All right, guys, I don't think I've had a ton of luck fishing off this point, but I'm just gonna, I think uh, Scoob was catching some with, he was catching some off here the other day, or well, he was on his kayak, but he was just off this point in it, catching some on a lipless crank. So since that's what I'm throwing, I figured I'd stop here and try it. All right, on to the next spot. I'm gonna try not to lose this bait. So we'll see how this goes. But, uh, this is like a really shallow area. 
but I'm pretty sure there's some bass holding up in here, so. How would that spot? Looks like another bass boat might be coming in here too, which is an awesome. Wow. I can't believe how low it got in here just in the last couple weeks. Actually, not even, just in the last week. I've been over here in the past week. All right, guys. Done with this lipless crank. So, I actually like quite a bit of things about it. I like the little spot right there to create the bubbles. It's got a nice, it's got a real decent rattle chamber in it. It's pretty solid feeling. It's not like super light or cheap and the hooks are very sharp. So I think my biggest complaint about it is just the color pattern. I think uh, if it had maybe just like a plain chrome or maybe a black and chrome, black and white, something, something a little more natural. Cause this like somewhat baby bass ish type color just uh it's not the deal in this pond in this lake all right guys that kit came with these decent looking little stick baits i think it's i don't even know what color maybe like desert craw or something it's like a light brown with red flake i know uh green pumpkin with red flake does super decent in here so i decided to text pose this with looks like probably a eighth ounce bullet weight maybe a quarter and uh gonna chuck this guy around see what happens All right, guys, it's a few days later. I'm back out at the res and I've got this uh, Texas rigged stick bait. And um, yeah, I'm gonna toss around and see if I could get on a fish with some of the baits that are in this box that I've been using. And uh, yeah, so far I've caught, I think just one fish on it just that one on the uh, grub. So I've got quite a few baits to knock out and hopefully we could get it done. The water clarity is much worse than I was expecting. It's a little windier than I thought it was gonna be. The forecast said it was gonna be a little less windy for a while, but uh, looks like the wind came a little early. So that sucks. But we're gonna see if we can make do. Hopefully get on a bite anyway. Oh man, I don't know if there's some big old bed bass out there and I don't know if they saw me. I think they just saw me cast. That sucks. Oh, I just lost one. So yeah, guys, typically if I rigged something like this up, I'd probably have like a chartreuse, maybe something along those lines really bright to contrast with that really dark bait. And um, a lot of times I've noticed that'll get a pretty good bite in darker, muddier water. But since I don't have access to, in this kit, since I don't have access to a colored ball head jig, I've got the lead ball head jig on and then I put this green bead on there that came in the kit with the little bobber stop there to uh, keep it in place. So I think that'll work out the way I want it to. And uh, let's toss it around, see if we can get on a bite. All right guys, it's starting to rain a little bit. I gotta get walking.
All right, guys, I want to take a few casts by where I was getting bit with the Senko, but I'm not going to stick around here too long. It's getting pretty gnarly. All right, guys, I lied again. A few more casts. I'm right near my car, so if it gets if it gets gnarly, as long as I don't get struck directly with lightning, if it gets kind of gnarly, I can leave. All right, guys, that's it for me. I'm done for today, for sure. All right, guys, it's a new day. I think it's like a week or two later, and I'm gonna continue to try catching some bass on that um, Eagle Claw bass kit that I bought at Walmart for 10 bucks. Um, I actually just saw a decent bass still on a bed over here. A lot of the bass are starting to move off beds, but there's some still on. And I just spotted one still on one over here. So um, I actually noticed in the kit I didn't see before, there were some eighth ounce bullet weights in there, which is actually the exact weight I was complaining about not having when I was throwing the um, Texas rig with the quarter ounce. So now I actually have the eighth ounce that came with the kit on my Texas rig and I'm gonna toss that around. That is definitely the weight I would prefer to throw for a Texas rig. So gonna toss that around and maybe we could get on a bed bass or two. All right, guys, that bass I saw that I was just talking about on a bed, I think it actually might have saw me walking by because I don't see it there anymore. But I'm going to throw around this little cut anyway. It's just a nice little cove. And uh, I've seen I've seen quite a few beds in here in the past, just kind of fishing it and passing and actually, actually searching for beds. But uh, I wasn't really coming out here today in uh, anticipation of finding a ton of bed bass. I was just kind of planning on blind casting. But if they're sitting on beds, I'm definitely not gonna complain about that. All right, the bass is swimming back to its bed. So that's good. It's probably only maybe a two pounder. It's not like it's a giant or anything. But I wanna get a bass on the Cinco. There's one, let's go. Speak of the freaking devil. All right, guys, oh geez. Oh, well, you saw it, it was landed. <laughs> I couldn't even tell what kind of bass that was, but I did land it with the Senko. Man, I wish I would've got a hold of it, that sucks. I actually kind of pushed it back into the water trying to get a hold of it, but that's okay. It definitely swam away, all right. It bounced off like one rock, but damn. All right, cool. I definitely got one on the Senko. That was uh, <laughs> probably, probably more exciting than most catches for you guys, seeing how I flopped around on the ground and all that <laughs> but uh but yeah got her done on the old texas rigged Cinco. so let's go guys i'm actually gonna throw this uh texas rigged stick bait around down here a little bit i know i just caught something on it but i'd like to actually like i technically i landed that i know it hit the bank so it was a it was a landed fish but i'd like to actually hold one let you guys check it out and all that, you know. I just, I still don't always feel like it was a legitimate catch when they, when I don't get to handle them, you know. Oh, big carp just jumped right in front of me. Whoa. There's a big bass feeding right on the bank over there. 
I'm gonna try casting out where I saw that bass clapping cheeks right next to the bank. There's one, let's go. Hook set on that one. It's a good fish too. Let's go guys. All right, it's a good largey. Let's freaking get it. Stick baits always pull through. Stick baits a freaking great bait. It's probably about a two pounder, really nice bass. So yeah, like I said, I just wanted to, I knew the stick bait would get it done. That's why I kept throwing it. Um, real beautiful large mouth bass. Like I said, probably about a two pounder. Absolutely stoked for this catch. Let's freaking go, guys. All right, guys, let's get this beautiful bass back in the water. Awesome. Okay, guys, decided to do a bait switch now that the, uh, now that the Senko got it done. So I've got a big old chartreuse curly tail fat grub on a what I believe is a quarter ounce uh, lead ball head jig. Everything everything I've got tied on right now came in the uh, eagle claw kit there. I'm not too sure if I'm gonna be able to keep this bait off the bottom and avoid snagging up. So hopefully I can hang on to this bait for a little while, maybe at least long enough to catch a fish. All right guys, I'm not really liking the, uh, the big curl tail grub right now. I'm not able to fish it as slow as I'd like to. Lately, finesse has been the move out here. I've been getting a lot of nice fish on finesse baits and uh, this is more of a power method. So maybe uh, maybe if it doesn't get too rainy but it gets even cloudier, maybe I'll go out to the points there and try to toss this out for some walleye or something. But like I said, this is more of a power fishing method and I've been having better luck up in these cuts for bass using more finesse. So I'm gonna throw on, I think actually a drop shot for a little bit. All right guys, so I actually didn't notice when I first bought this kit that the pre-rig drop shot that came with it was actually a double rig. So I've got these two kind of like speed worm type deals on here. Uh, one of them's a sort of transparent with blue flake and the other is just straight up plain black. So, uh, just as soon as I got rigged up, it started to rain, but I'm gonna still toss this around just a little bit. And uh, at least I could say I tried. Yeah, I might have to call it a day pretty soon, guys. Oh yeah. Oh geez. <laughs> yeah, it's getting a little intense, guys. I uh, think I might have to call it. All right, guys, it just started pouring rain basically out of nowhere, so I'm back on my way out to my car now. I guess I'm going to call it a night. Sorry, we're getting rained out two nights in a row. Well, not two nights in a row, but two sends in a row for the same video. But yeah, even with the weather, we did kind of okay on that kit, so that's good. And I know the weather sucks right now, and I really should get back to my car. But I want to take a few more casts in this spot because I got a couple bites over here earlier. And uh, I know there's some bass bedded in here. And I don't know. I just, I just want to try it. Assuming it stays how it is right now, I think I'll probably call it a day. All right, guys, as always, thanks for watching another episode and thank you so much for sticking around till the end. I'm gonna make this outro short and sweet since I'm getting poured on but um, that was a pretty decent challenge there. I just decided to pick up that little um, Eagle Claw bass kit that I found at Walmart. It cost 10 bucks and uh, I would highly recommend it, honestly. It came with just about everything you would need to just get straight out on the water and catch some fish. Obviously, aside from a combo, you're gonna need your, you know, your rod and your reel. But aside from that and your line you're gonna have basically everything you would need to get i mean you could come out to this reservoir if you tied on the baits that i showed you guys i would almost guarantee if you spent enough time fishing them the way that i was fishing them you would get on some bass so highly recommend that little kit for only 10 bucks i mean it came with 
line clippers, it came with a stringer, it came with a bunch of grubs, some nice little speed worms, some stick baits, came with a hard bait, a little uh, lipless crankbait, um, the little pre-rigged drop shot. It, it really covers just about all the bases for only 10 bucks and many of the hooks in there are eagle claw hooks so they're actually decent quality the only thing i wasn't sure about was the quality of the baits in there i don't think they're well obviously they're not eagle claw brand they're some kind of random third party brand however they were mostly effective although i didn't get anything on that hard bait and i didn't quite get everything anything on all the plastics I'm pretty sure just about all the plastics in there would have produced bites had I spent enough time fishing them. So this outro ended up being a little longer than I expected guys. I said I was going to keep it short and sweet, but anyway, highly recommend that little kit for only 10 bucks for anyone who doesn't exactly know what they're doing. If you just pick that up, it's got what you need to catch some fish. So get after it guys, try to get on some of your own. Uh, until next time, I'll see you guys on the water. Also forgot to mention, you guys know the drill, you've been on YouTube before. If you're not subscribed yet, if you haven't hit like and you do like my content, please go ahead, hit like and subscribe. Every bit helps so much. Thank you guys.